Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided, a game where I'm still trying to uh, not kill everyone, and I think I'm doing alright right about now. I returned a bit to uh, Task Force hey, 29 because, uh, as you remember, Arya, who greeted us when we entered, told us she wanted to talk to us afterwards. So, uh, let's see. Aria Argento, filling out Argento. Request forms for McCready and his boys is tedious as hell, but I don't want to give him another reason to say no. Say no to what? Are you kidding me? Right now, you're the only active augmented agent we have. I'm hoping to change that. Been asking him every week, practically, but so far, permission denied. Really? I wonder why you that is. Reason? Says my stress levels are too high. Told me I should sign up for meditation classes and drag Chang in with me so he'd chill out and stop changing security codes all the time. It sucks, because I really wanted to find out who those crashers in Dubai were. No, you're not the only one. Uh, stress levels, Dubai investigation, and Chang. We know what Chang uh, is about, because we talked to him, and he seemed a l really paranoid. But we're going to go into the investigation as who tried to hack us in a minute. But uh, Dubai investigation. I still can't believe Miller gave the gold mask case to McCready. Oh, I'm sorry, Adam. You were there, too. You're probably as pissed about those guys getting the drop on the team in Dubai as McCready is. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Agent Singh might have been killed. I think we might find it Singh here worse. as well. That's why I want to find these guys. Maybe I'll talk to McCready, see if I can help. Okay, sounds that. like a plan. He chewed me out for asking if I could help with the case. I should have kept his new key card. I don't want him stinking up my range anyway. Okay, and what about stress levels? You talked about him saying that it's because of your stress levels. You were saying your stress levels were affecting your chances of becoming a field agent. Why is that? I have a rare resistance to neuropazine. I need more than the average person, especially in stressful situations. They say I'd be too expensive, so it's not just discrimination. That oh, so you're an augment with. too. Combination of things. I didn't well, realize that. Combination that. of things is pretty bad in Prague, and getting worse. I know, but Interpol was the only agency who would give me a chance, and this is where I was assigned. I have no problem with that. I'll take whatever they throw at me. Good. It took me months of rehabilitation getting used to Oh yeah, to your right arm, arm is augmented. Learning how to shoot again, learning how to tie my own boots. But I did it, and I'm better than I was before. I want to help, and I can. My place is out there in the field where I can make a difference. You know that. And if you can do it, so can I. Yes, you can. Don't give up, Arya. Semper Fi. Hoorah. Okay. So we don't need to talk about Chang. So, uh... I'll better let you get back to work. No, I better let you get back to work. Yeah, sure. Talk to you later. Goodbye, Arya. Uh, maybe I should talk to McCready then. I'm supposing he's upstairs near the rest of the agents. Um... Probably over there. Let's see here, what's this? Counterterrorism, Duncan McCready. That sounds about right. Uh, oh, and is that? Yeah, Aaron Singh. Agent, Agent Singh. Wasn't expecting to see you again. In civvies at least. Just passing through. I wanted to thank your team for the backup in Dubai. Because we saved that his ass, as you remember. Faster than the storm did. You're welcome. But I don't think you came all this way to say thanks. Director Miller asked me to get Agent McCready up to speed. Now I have the Red Eye flight back to Oman. Headed into the field office there? Not exactly. One of our black sites. I'll be dropped in as a captured enemy combatant. After I contact my fellow Jin prisoners, I shall lead a very convenient escape. Sounds uh, like fun. We're embedding with the Jin. Aren't you taking a big risk, given everything that happened? Eh, no choice. That ambush knocked everyone on their asses. TF-29, Bell Tower, the Jin. To cover all the angles, I need to go back. Hopefully my cover is still good. You killing the signal booster at the hotel should help. You're yeah, because we did that as well. Gate crashers faster than TF-29. Perhaps. They do not like loose ends. An augmented kill squad with military training. Have you ever seen anything like it? Well, kind of. Yeah, but it's a long story. In Human Revolution, that was uh, all that game was about. So, cleanup operation. Anything out of that? Cleanup operation. 
Mostly corpses. Heavily augmented, as you know. Under those gold masks, they were ID scrubbed. No prints, no dentals, no DNA match. Professional. Could still be ex-Bell Tower. Plenty of men and material went AWOL after the incident. A competing faction that listened in on Shepard's sale. Hmm? It's a possibility. The audits and investigations of Bell Tower will go on for years before we know how many rats jumped from that ship. At least we recovered the weapons. Unlisted. High spec. Military grade augmentation. <laughs> Enough to build another couple of you. That that is a joke. Yeah, because they wouldn't have my right. experience now, would it's they? It's the world we live in. Anyone with an exemption to the weaponized augment ban is a useful tool. Or a terrorist. So, uh anything else about Dubai? Whoever they were, they knew exactly when the deal was going down. Any chance they were based locally in Dubai? No. After the incident, Dubai became the world's most luxurious tombstone. Perfect for the Jinn, but for no one else. I thought human augmentation was frowned on in the Middle East. Why was Dubai hit so Because hard? of the workforce, probably. Because it was another world. Two other worlds, in fact. One of extreme augmentations in gold or crystal. And one of thousands of workers out there we go. for construction. Then, that day. I know. No, Agent Jensen, you could not. Some called it divine punishment. But that day was not the work of a merciful God. But believe us, we know, because we were there. We were at the root of it all. So continue. I don't envy what you've got ahead of you. Actually, I'm looking forward to it. The truth is, when you've been under for long enough, you only feel like an imposter out here. In the real world. That sounds kind of sad, actually. I understand the feeling. And I feel bad for you, Sing. But I'm glad you're still alive. So let's see if we can't talk to McCready here. I know he doesn't like me. So we might as well get uh, it all back in our face. Ooh. Thanks. Thanks for the whiskey, buddy. Is there something I can help you with, Agent? I hear you're on point looking into the gold mask mercs that hit us in Dubai. Any leads yet? <laughs> Christ, I know I'm good, Jensen, but I've only been on it for five minutes. A lot can happen in five minutes, McCready. You check with the ME yet? Get anything off the bodies we recovered? Leftovers are on ice at the Oman substation. I've been told they were scrubbed clean as summer whites. No prints, no dental, no nothing. No nothing, so a lot so of everything. In other words, it's no steps forward and two steps back. For now. That's why it's a good thing you disabled the Jin's comms booster in Dubai. Singh's cover with the Jin is still intact. I'm hoping once he's back in Basra, so that he'll had his a lot to of effect around. apparently. Maybe these gold mask jokers will ping locally. Probably another fucking jihad looking to make some noise. I don't know. I'm not so sure we should be looking for these guys in the desert. Ah, is that so? You have some new information you feel like sharing? Come on, McCready. These guys were augmented with military-grade hardware. Body augmentation goes against Muslim beliefs. They weren't jihadists. We're dealing with something new here. I can see where you're going with this, Jensen. And I'm asking you right now to back off it. It's not your case. Okay, then I knew that was going to help. Wasn't going to help. Challenge, condescent, or focus. Let's try focus. Come on, McCready. We're not a couple of beat cops filling a monthly quota here. This isn't about whose caller it is. It's about getting the people responsible. Full stop. Look, I get what you're saying, but I'm working a $5 investigation on 50 cents worth of shit. I've got speculation to spare, mate. Listen, I know I come off strong. I've got three ex-wives that'll back Sounds up. like we took the right route. that's just how I'm built. Putting on a show for the new guys, I'm gonna change what's underneath. I can appreciate that kind of honesty. Yeah, indeed. Good. That was surprisingly so honest. I'm impressed with how you handled yourself in Dubai. You can appreciate that I meant it. With that sandstorm giving us colonics, stripping the juice box out the chopper was an inspired choice. But that mission is over, and your involvement in it ends now. Got it? Hmm. Yeah, but tell me, why do you think the bodies from Dubai were sent to Oman, or a bit about your story? Let's try his story. How the hell did you get such a sunny disposition anyway, McCready? Knowing about me is not going to make us friends, Jensen. 
but I'll humor you. And it might be the first step I joined towards friendship. Army straight out of secondary school, made UKSF at 25, and was recruited into the SRR four years later. Special Reconnaissance Regiment. That's an elite unit. Oh, yeah. It's very glamorous. All champagne and blowjobs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> After 12 years hunting terrorist shipbirds across every desert on the face of the earth, I found there was no fucking end to the evil this world churned out. I couldn't see the point in what we were doing anymore. So, I quit. That's... So what brought you back to the life? Brash. I suppose it was purpose. A tool without a job to do can only grow rust. So, here I am, back in it, serving my purpose. As a tool yourself, mate, you should understand that, yeah? Yeah, indeed. That was another insult, by the way. But hey, I do think it's kind of sad that despite the voice acting being so good, because it is pretty good, the lip syncing is completely off base. I know I've said that a few times now, but it's sad. Yeah. But tell me, why do you think the bodies from Dubai were sent to Oman? Fuck knows. Rumor is that Oman was pissed that we got the green light for the gig in the first place. Can't blame them, really. You don't think it's strange we got the call over them? I stopped questioning the logic of the big noise a long time ago. What I'm told is we were the only team ready to go. Yeah, that's what I heard too. So then you know what I know. That everything? No, it's probably the Illuminati, but you wouldn't believe me if I said that, so goodbye. Yeah, I got it. It was nice talking to you, McCready. No, it wasn't. <laughs> well, it kinda was. Maybe there's something here. Anything in the drawer? Pistol EMP ammo, that's always nice. Can check out the other drawers. Nothing here, nothing here. And a closed off computer. So, let's head back outside. And I'll check out if we can't uh, start off the side quest that looks into those hackers that Chang asked us about. So, uh, see you guys in a second. So More we're just a bit around. further down the street and it sends us into this building. If it is a building, it looks like an apartment building. I gave the police a list of all the oh. renters in my building that I suspect of being augmented. We need to head up apparently, so let's take the stairs. I'll find the source of the hack, so that's another level I think. There we go. You interested in some merchandise? No, we're not. Okay. How the hell does hey, this even work? Are you interested in clean guns for a good price? Huh. Okay. Whoa. There we go. That's probably not the way to do this, but Hmm. I locked the door. Do I know the code? I don't. Uh, maybe. Yeah, of course. Of course. So let's crouch. There doesn't seem to be anyone in here. It's yellow. What does that mean? Does that mean I just need to look around a bit? That's the newspaper we've seen already about the Human Restoration Act. A locked computer. What's that? An EMP grenade. What the hell is that doing here? I'll take that. Ooh, I can even use the fireplace in this place. What's this all about? This looks like an investigation into the bombing. Software. A coffee, and that's probably... Yeah, nice rice. Nice rye, I'm sorry. This is a pretty nice apartment, by the way. Um, Some more beer I can pick up. Ooh, more software. So this is clearly a programmer's building. Well, apartment. Uh, so I have to... Look through this place really thoroughly to see if we don't miss anything. More sinks and a giant shower. Look at that. Ooh, what's this? I'll check that in a minute. I'll first go through the computer. If I can even hack this. 
Oh yeah, security rating one, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, so we need to go over there. But we can't see yet which one goes to uh, the access point and which doesn't. So we're gonna use a reveal software. And there we go. So the right one is a lot longer. And a spam folder, okay. So if I can, I should go to this data store as well. So let's start heading there. That's 13 seconds. Okay, don't come Oh, I can't even reach out, okay. Access granted. There we go. Less than a second left. Okay, so we have mail and we have messengers. So let's check out the mails first. From bones at tmail to little k at tmail. K is getting antsy about the next issue. I told him we should lead with the moon base story and he freaked out on me. Seriously, how are we not leading with this story? Anyway, he wants you to come in so we can all talk about it. Just make sure you're not followed. And then from K at Tmail. Okay, so K is someone different than Little K. From K to Little K, Bones won't shut up about the moon base. I keep telling him we have no facts, but he just won't let it go. I want you to get back as soon as you can. I need to talk about the next issue with someone who cares about more than, the re than reliving some old cosmonaut fantasy. I'm assuming you got something on Praha Dovos by now, so... This is... I know that... Oh, Sam is that. So that's that uh, revolutionary newspaper thingy. So they were writing an article about Praha Dovos, but what was their original lead? From Angela Gunn? I have a great amount of respect for you, for all of you, but I do not want to hide. You've changed your names, erased your pasts, Left everything and gone on the ground, I'm not sure I have it in me to do all that. More importantly, I'm not sure it's necessary. I have my own ideas about how to make things better. Be careful down there, Suzanne. So, little k is Suzanne. And know that I'll always be a faithful reader of Samizdat. Angela. Angela Gunn. So let's check out the messenger. Why are you online? Sewer stand-up was five minutes ago and you're not even in Daphne. I want to lead with your Praha Dobos story. Hmm. You know me, always running late. What Praha Dobos story? Who are you? What's the rush? Um. Let's stall first. Do not confuse anti establishment with anti punctuality. Sam is data scanning on whatever you dug up at, about Praha Dobos for the next issue. Through this, I got lost again one of those days. You need to forget about Praha Dovos, there is no story. Sounds like something we should talk about in person. Where are you? Let's try that. Same place I was yesterday and the day before that. Underground at the Daphne district, take the manhole by the music store or the old church. Once you find the hidden office, the code to get in is 5431. That sounds like a plan. So that was great. So we now know where to find probably the the leader of the Samizdat uh, newspaper. I want to check out this vent as well. That's not physically possible what I just did there, but hey. So let's try that. Oh. Can I turn that off? Shit. That's not what I wanted to do. So let's head back. And uh, I guess we'll uh, try and find that guy in the sewers then. Why is everybody hiding in the sewers? There we go. Doors open. Chang, I think I have something on our secret admirer. Group called Samizdat. Mean anything Ooh. to you? You mean those conspiracy nuts? Very bad for business. How much do they know? Not sure. Good news is I got an exact location. Find out whatever you can. What they know, what they want. If they blow the task force's cover, it's only a matter of time before someone blows up the task force. Don't worry, Chang. I don't want the walls coming down just yet. Okay, Chang, take it easy. So, it looks like we're gonna have to use the metro system again, so I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, Miller, I'm at the metro. Perfect or not. Timing. Chang says your private chariot will arrive any time you call up Razika Station on the map. Chang, you had him hack into Prague's public transit company so I can get to Razika? Plan A wasn't working. So, I'm not gonna do that just yet. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. This is going towards the wrong thing, isn't it? 
The door I see another side mission then. Yeah, okay. Find Salmis Dad in the Daphne district. Oh god damn it, yeah, okay. So I didn't need to go inside of the metro station. But we need to go back inside the district. But that did give you that a little bit of conversation. Dobre. That Miller uh, had Chang hacked the metro system just so I could get to the station. But I'll see you guys you over there in a second because it's pretty far off the Daphne district. Nothing. So it was a manhole behind a music store. Oh yeah, okay. The music box. So that's the manhole cover, but that's pretty wide in the open. Isn't it? Okay then. Hi. Let's see what we can find here. It's not restricted right now. Um. Oh, hi. Jesus. This place looks creepy. I hopefully haven't been set up. Because that would be bad. It doesn't indicate a uh, restricted area yet. And there are a lot of people here. I'm telling you, I hear whispers in the wall. They speak the truth. You sure it's not in your head, brother? Shh. Ooh, that looks like the right place. Didn't really need to use the ladder with my Icarus landing, but it keeps going. So there's these people here, and then behind these boxes, I suppose. There's a lot here, by the way. Might just take a quick look around. Although there's maybe not that much here. We're gonna check out this guy. Hi. Some movable boxes, but nothing really useful to me. Could move that, but it's not really needed. And it appears to be behind this barricade. There's a key code here, so that's the one we could use. Five, four, three, one. There we go. Access granted. Open. Hi. Then segue into earthquakes and clones, follow up on Dubai, and finish with. Hello, Kay. Don't shoot. Shit. We're journalists. Who invited the agent type? Who are you? What do you want? I don't want to shoot here? you. you. You here because of the Dubai story? The article about the moon base? The, the, the clones? The, the clones on the moon base? Who, who sent you? Holy I'm shit. Is that. You in charge? I take charge. Keep off the I'm caffeine. Not in charge, man. No one owns or detects the truth. Freedom of information is a collective right and the, and the collective responsibility. That said, you're gonna break someone's nose, you break my nose. Because it looks like it has been uh, broken before. Bluff or reason? I didn't come here to break anything. I didn't come here to break anything. I just need you to cooperate. I spent my 20s in the commune, man. I'm all about cooperation. Sounds yeah, like a, a good man, then. Into. It's making some people nervous. What do you know about Praha Dovos? Well, that little import company? I oh, there's the social enhancer. In the We've seen agent types come in and out. The place is a curtain. The first in a series of men. Pull them all back and you'll find... Damn. Tell me I'm wrong. It's a dead end. <laughs> right. Guys like you always come down here because of dead ends. Fine. Then what if it's something other people are already looking into? If someone like you makes too much noise, that may compromise any chance they have of uncovering something bigger. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm supposed to believe we're colleagues now? Yes, you, you are. Like types, you walk into Pike's newsroom, tell them to be hush hush about something, and they do it. But that's not how it works here. One day, you will all be exposed. If not by me, then someone just like me. Semis that isn't one voice. K isn't one man. Okay. Semis that is the newspaper and K is the guy. So, Semis that. What exactly do you do down here? 
Sami's death is a media uprising. While Pikes panders to corporate tyranny and government bullshit, we pump out the truth. We uncover it, we write it, we publish it. We get our noses broke for it. He's really obsessed with the nose breaking thing. Well, we do a lot more than that. We got ways of getting into Pikes media network. That's how we disseminate information. Information you get by hacking into places you shouldn't. The truth is buried. If digging it up means skirting a few rules, so be it. Yeah. Okay, that's a bit of a questionable moral, but uh... What did you mean with you uh, mean saying that K wasn't a modern man? K is an idea. The intangible leader of tangible resistance. You can kill me, but then little K would become K. Kill little K and, and Bones over there becomes K. That's... there's always a K. And what if you kill Bones? You can't kill Bones, man. Bones isn't real. I think he was one of them. He was supposed to be a prince of Belgium, man, but then... The he prince of Belgium? I didn't him know that. Because I'm from Belgium. Him, so we reprogrammed him with the truth. Right. Suppose I needed to make a deal with Sam as that. There's no one person I can talk to? Depends on the deal. I mean, there's always going to be an editor. Editor makes the final call on all published material. That would be me. Yeah, we kind of so got that already. So you sure that something doesn't get talked about? Depends on the deal. Okay. Continue then. I need you to stop looking into Prahandovos. But not for the reason you assume. Oh, relax, I get it. You don't think I do, but I do. You got to appease your military industrial masters. You've all been there, man. No. Oh, I think I am. The kinds of people who manipulate the news, who cover things up. You don't need to convince me that's who the enemy is. The enemy is anyone who conceals the truth. And that's exactly what you're asking me to do. To pretend like that little import company isn't hiding something. I'm asking you to see a difference between conspiracy and discretion. Between people who hide information in order to push their own agendas and those who need to stay off the radar in order to do their jobs. Yeah, because we need you to protect know, those people. people. Understand. Okay. Okay, look. You seem like a reasonable guy. Hell, I've usually been punched by now. I find this refreshing. Here's the deal. We promise to forget all about Praha Dolos and stay out of your way as long as you give us something back. Sounds like a plan. What do you suggest? The only thing I hate more than secret organizations are toothless media conglomerates who don't hold anyone accountable, who spit lie after lie after lie. So I propose a trade. There are places my people can't get into. You get into one of those places and find me some dirt on the real enemy here. Pikes Media. Do that and I'll cut whatever you want me to cut. Who knows, maybe you'll even learn something. Well, we broke into Pikes before, Persuade. I'm not gonna punch R2. I mean, am I gonna punch the guy in the face then? Work together, intimidate or leave. What's Persuade? I don't know what the persuade is. No one to use. Can I? Oh god. Let's go for work together first. Although I do want to know what happens if you use persuade, because I think that's part of the social enhancer. So let's interrupt. You're gonna forget everything you know about Praha Dovos for now. It's the only way you get to protect your ideals. <laughs> Right, because concealing information is obviously the best way to keep people informed. You really think I'm that stupid? Okay, Omega. This word you might want to look up, it's called transparency. It means Omega people have the right to know, no matter what the cost. Manic, paranoid, idealistic, subjects dedication to truth, verges on obsession, his capacity for reasoning is sharp, though may veer towards the tangential or even wild. Fear and extreme mistrust of authority are likely to be well founded, Though further aggravated by a life lived in hiding. Hmm. His capacity for reasoning is sharp. Fear and extreme mistrust of authority are likely to be well founded through further aggravated by a life lived in hiding. Frighten won't probably help. Objectify. I saw more beta than anything else, so let's try with objectify. But there's a difference between speculation and fact. Right now I'm betting you don't have anything tangible to go on. You don't know who I am, what my role is, or what's really going on. Wait until the facts are out before you go spewing misinformation everywhere. 
before you get people killed. Ooh, it's going down. Okay, maybe I don't have all the facts yet. He agrees. That, but I know something's going on down there. Otherwise, oh, you wouldn't okay, be. that went into That's green fast. The truth, the real truth. It's a rare fucking bird, man. So and twice it's Omega, slow, twice Beta. It fucking flies off. So when I get so much as a hint of truth, I strike when I can, as hard as I can. Hmm. Objectify, sensationalize. Hmm. I think I should go for objectify again, right? Whatever the cost, is that it? You want to be better than Pikes, right? But what does Pikes do? They frighten people. They sensationalize the news. They misdirect. If you want to resist them, you need to strive to be objective. You need to deal in truths. And the truth is, putting Braha Dovos under the spotlight right now is dangerous to me and useless to the public. Wait until it's time. Okay. Okay, I get it. I don't want to compromise no one's investigative journalism. Oh, thanks. Sometimes you move too fast and the real story flies off before you even had a chance to see it. That's not what we do here. So you go break open whatever it is you're breaking open and we'll lay off Braha Dovos. That or sounds like... Great you're news! Right Spin Doctor! We'll see. You know, we could still use your help, though. Journalistic integrity may not mean very much topside, but it still means something down here. And that's why I think you should help us. Oh, you're maybe we can. hitting the mass media where it hurts. You know what? Since you guys were uh, so friendly with me, I'll accept. Alright, what do you want to know about Pikes? I want skeletons, the kind that companies like Pikes come all the way to Prague just to bury. Corporate archiving, man. Corporate archiving, huh? You asking me to break into a bank? I'm not talking vaults here. Ashani Talvar, the Palisade CEO, she leverages her clients, keeps information about them close at hand. She's got something on Pikes, I know it. I just can't get to it, but I bet you could. You poke into her office, find something that proves how nasty Pikes is, how much they love to piss on the truth, and I promise you this, I'll misplace any file you want. Wow, that was aggressive. Check Holy there. shit, that was in my face. Took care of Sam's dad. No one's going to be reading anything about us anytime soon. Oh, I'll cancel the movers. How'd you do it? I've reasoned with them. They're not going to give us any trouble. Reasoned? With the conspiracy nuts. I know what I'm doing. So, thanks for the, well, compliments, Chang, but couldn't, what the fuck? Where the hell am I? Oh, what? What changed? Can I? Yeah, okay. So we can get through these tunnels, but, uh, to not let you watch me go through the muck constantly, I'm gonna take a little break. So uh, thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel, because I really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thank you guys again enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye. Next time on Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Jensen, what's wrong? What are you doing here? What happened, Smiley? I think I found something in there. Something big. Something that could just blow this case wide open. Right.